What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Star Raptor team for Series 2. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. Considering we have Series 3 coming out soon, you guys do not want to miss out on the brand new Series 3 battles. But well, we got Star Raptor here to get us started here with today's team preview. Star Raptor, really cool Pokemon. Everybody loves this little bird, and this is the first time I'm using it in Series 2. So we're going to have some fun with it. It has Intimidate, which is a top tier ability, alongside with the Life Orb as item. It's Rocket Tailwind, Close Combat, Brave Bird, and Protect. Love this moveset. You can do some big damage, or you can take over Speed Control, which is really good. Fluttermane is going to be our second Pokemon. Protosynthesis, Boost Energy, Item and Ability. Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, and Substitute. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Really strong Pokemon. Really good all around. Great Tusk is going to be our third Pokemon. Loving this Pokemon, considering I love elephants. Elephants are one of my favorite animals. So, Great Tusk, he's my boy. He's a dog to me. He's got Protosynthesis, the Focus Sash as item. Then it has EQ, Headlong Rush, Close Combat, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be the Bundle. We are stacked with today's team with three of the top tier Paradox Pokemon. Iron Bundle in here as well. It's got Cork Drive, the Covert Cloak as item, so it can't be faked out. Encore, Freeze Dry, Icy Wind, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Titar, another Pokemon that I absolutely love. Titar, absolutely amazing at setting uh, Sandstorm and for weather control, and is very bulky on that special defense side with the Assault Vest. It's got Terra Blast, Crunch, Rock Slide, and Brick Break to break streams. Bronzong is going to be our final Pokemon. Bronzong's here for two reasons and two reasons only. First reason, to counter Trick Room. Second reason, to counter trick room. Okay, he's pretty much here just to counter trick room and get after the battle that way. It's got Levitate, the Mental Herb, Imprison, Protect, Trick Room, and Gyro Ball. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Red code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Star Raptor Series 2 team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against an Arm Rouge and Deity Trick Room team with Fluttermane, Roar Moon, Torkoal, and Murkrow. So he can actually go in two sides of this. Half his team is for Tailwind, just straight speed with the Murkrow, Fluttermane, and War Moon, and then the other half is all Trick Room. It's Indeedy, Torkoal, and Arm Rouge. How should I play this one? This one seems like it could be a pain, but Titar is going to be pretty solid here, right? I don't mind Titar. I don't mind leading Titar. I might lead Titar and Bronzong. I mean, if they want to go into armors and DD, I mean, we can still get after. We got Crunch, we got all that good stuff. I really do like that. I'm going to go into you. I'm also going to go into, I could go into the bundle. Bundle is not a bad Pokemon. But the thing is, if they get off Trick Room, it's a problem. It is just a problem for us, and it's going to be hard to deal with. I might just imprison Trick Room turn one, just to keep it away. So yeah, we're going to bring Bronze on. We're going to bring Titar. Do I bring the Star Raptor's battle? We might not want to. We might not want to bring Star Raptor. We could bring the bundle. I mean, bundle's not bad. It's going to be super effective onto a few. It's going to be solid with the freeze dry and all that. But Fluttermane's also going to be a beast. So we got to bring Fluttermane. And then last but not least, it's either Tusk or Bundle. One or the other. We don't have a water move, which is a problem. We don't have a water move, but still. I think Tusk is going to be our play. We're going to rock out with Tusk. Are we going to rock out with Tusk? You do have the Focus Ash and your Terra Ground. I'm going to rock out with the Tusk. I'm going to bring the Tusk, we're going to leave Iron Bundle and Star Raptor out of this first battle. I just feel like we have to bring the Pokemon like Titar and Bronzong here, considering our Mujin DD. It's a big time problem. We don't we don't feel like dealing with that, right? We do not feel like dealing with that. So I'm going to leave my Imprison combo if they end up going into speed. That's fine, I guess. I guess we'll just deal with it later. We have uh, other faster Pokemon to kind of deal with that. But Murkrow and Fluttermane do come out of That hurts his soul. That hurts his soul. So we go Bronzong, we go Titar here. There's... We could pop a Trick Room, actually. Trick Room might help us. Trick Room might help us. I could Terrasize and Flying right here and just drop a Rock Slide. It's going to be my play. Now I'm going to pop a Trick Room. I'm going to use Trick Room to our advantage. Because if they don't have their Trick Room Pokemon, I'm going to pop and do, it, do my thing. If they want to go Tailwind, that's fine. But I'm going to Terrasize and Flying here. We're just going to hope he doesn't have... Uh, we're gonna really hope that he doesn't have the Torkoal in the back end. And if he does, I might have to swap my T-Tar here. I might have to get my T-Tar gone. Get it out of here. Just so I can uh, have it for uh, back end support. But he ends up withdrawing. Into who? Who are you going into? Indeedee's gonna come out of here. Indeedee's gonna come out of here. So it's gotta be Indeedee Armors, right? I mean, I don't mind Indeedee Armors. I mean, I, I took away my Dark type, which kinda sucks. Because we kinda just wasted a Terra there. I did think this thing was going to go for like a gleam or something to do some big time damage, but we had a salt vest. 
Maybe I should have thought about that a little bit more and not even use my terror. But I'm gonna terrestrialize. We're gonna throw away after it. And he sets the terrain. The terrain is out and about. Out and about. Guitar's chilling here for a little bit. I mean, they do have Fluttermane in the back end. Taunt's gonna come out from Murkrow. We are Mental Herb, which is enormous. And we're gonna start this Trick Room. Lovely little Mental Herb. Lovely little Herb. The Rock Side now pokes out here. Chips up some. Oh my god, just dumps on the Murkrow. That's big time. We get a crit on the Murkrow. We like that. We like that a lot. We get rid of the Murkrow, and now we're sitting here. We have Flying Terra. Trick Room coming out here. We have Sandstorm out. Hmm. And now who's he gonna throw out here? Who are you gonna throw out here? You're, you have you have to have armors, right? If you're rocking in DD, I feel like armors gotta be here. We'll see who he wants to play. I'm kinda hoping he has like Warren Moon or something. Something that's faster. But no, it's gonna be armor. So armors comes out here. Uh, I can definitely see a terror coming out here. And or I can see a follow me. I mean I'm just gonna crunch. I'm just gonna crunch into him. If he wants to follow me, that's fine. And I guess I'll just gyro ball. I could untrick him if I want to. I could definitely untrick him, but he might just armor cannon me. But if I untrick him, would that be would that be a good play? Would that be a wise play? I think it would be, right? To untrick him here? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go for the untrick him. I'm gonna I'm gonna untrick him. And the reason I wanna do that is because they have Indeedy and armor out in the field. So I'd rather just get rid of trick him. But he ends up terrestrializing. Maybe he goes for follow me. Grass type, potentially. Potentially, yeah, it's gonna be grass type. And I was gonna go for a Terra Blast just in case he ends up doing that, but it's all good. He might just follow me. I'm kinda hoping he followed me here. So he ends up going for a wide guard. I think we're going for a rock slide. That's actually just a free turn for us then. And we go for a crunch and we are going to get rid of Trick Room here as well. We're gonna untrick him. Are you trick you got indeed he's trick room in as well? Indeed he is trick room in as well. That is hilarious. So it makes us read that where he was going into a trick room. I want to untrick him. I want to untrick him. That's what I want to do. I want to untrick him. I don't know why he wants to untrick him. It kind of seems a bit weird, but I want to stop the trick room. The trick room is back at max turns. So from here, I'm just going to go for a crunch. I mean, actually, I should just terror blast, get rid of you. Because indeed, I'm not too worried about. And I'm going to try trick room again. I want to get rid of trick room. I don't want it here. He's wide guarding again. You are dead. I don't know what you're trying to do here. Is, is our opponent going for trick room again? I do not know. Now I kind of want trick room. I was just saving this for my back end Pokemon. That's how armors was just that fast. This is just a wild match. This is just a wild match, but we pretty much have this one on lockdown now. It's totally fine. I can't wait to go for another trick room. We just look like a genius when they're like... This, like, our opponent probably thinks, like, oh my god, I'm getting, like, red here so bad. But, no, we don't want Trick Room either. We don't want it either, but now looking at the battle, we're fine on both sides of the field. Just at that moment when he had Indeedian Armourous, taking on Trick Room was their best option because we had very fast Pokemon in the back end, and we can really counter up on, on our opponent. We had Focus Hatch, Great Tusk, and we had a full speed Flutter with Booster Energy. We were chilling. We were chilling. But Trick Room, I guess, is here, and now it works fine. I'm just going to crunch down onto Indeedee, because follow me. Actually, Rock Side would be your play. I'm just going to Rock Side, and I'm just going to go for Gyro Ball. This works. Cancel Battle? Yeah, Battle was canceled. And we just swept with Bronzong and Titar. Absolutely amazing. Second match coming at you guys. We're going up against yet another Indeedee and Armourish team. They also have Lake and Rock Titar combo, which is definitely very, very scary. And then on top of that, they're rocking out with Bax Caliber and Drifloom. I might just lead Intimidate Star Raptor. Seems like they do work, right? It seems like it can get some work done. For real, for real. Just intimidate and then just switch out, right? Or I could always terrestrialize if I want to. Because I do have the Grass Terror. Which is not bad. And then I can close combat down in the Pokemon. I'm with it. I'm with the Star Raptor for the lead. I really do like that Pokemon. So Star Raptor's going to come out here for the lead. Might also lead the Deli Deli Bird. I like the Deli Deli Bird. I do like the Deli Deli Bird. But again, if they outspeed me, mm, then I do not like the Deli Deli Bird. But I might just go Titar. I mean, Dark Titar is not too bad. I kind of like it. I don't mind it. But I feel like I need T-Tar, Bundle, and Fluttermane. Fluttermane could be a solid lead here as well. Hmm. What is my play? What is my play? Who do I want to lead here? I feel like T-Tar's got to be our lead. I mean, I could go in with a uh, Tusk. 
Tusk isn't too bad here. We go in with Tusk. I could Tusk it up. I'm gonna Tusk it. You know, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in with Great Tusk here. I'm gonna bring the Titar and I'm gonna bring the bundle. Or not the bundle, the flutter main. I think that's our play. I think that is our play. Let's lock it in, let's lock it down. Let's look to get after it. Let's look to get after this match. Battle number two coming at you guys. First match went perfectly. Absolutely dominated with Titar and Bronzong. Surprisingly swept an Armourouge, an Indeedee, a Fluttermane, and what was the last Pokemon? I can't even think of it. Armourouge, Indeedee, Fluttermane. I can't even think of the last Pokemon, but, but we absolutely ripped into them. We absolutely ripped into our opponents, but he ends up going into these two Pokemon. I like Tusk here. Tusk can just really EQ. I mean, Terra Grass can come out here. And I feel like from here we have Focus Ash. I could just Tailwind up. I mean, I could Tailwind up, but I don't think Tailwind's going to be my play. I really don't think Tailwind's going to be my play. I could end up hard swapping in the T-Tar, which I think is going to be more so our play. And I really want to EQ, though. Actually, we'll just... I'm going to Brave Bird you, just in case you tear grass. I'm going to Brave Bird, and I'm just going to EQ across the board. Seems like a simple play, right? He might tear grass. If he doesn't, he gets hit by an EQ. The only way he survives this is like to rationalize and use a follow me turn. I mean, it's totally fine. But I can definitely see like, yeah, tear grass and maybe try to get off a trick room. That's a play. So he's going to end up to rationalize and go into tear grass. That's exactly why we brave bird instead of swapping. So we're hoping no follow me comes out here. We are hoping no follow me comes out here and I just rip onto the single brave bird. He ends up going for follow me. Smart play by our opponent. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him all day. We still have Focus Ash, which is wonderful. Great Bird's going to chip up some nice damage. And we're going to take some recoil onto that as well. So chances are Star Raptor goes out here. EQ flies out here. We're hoping no Trick Room is coming out here. Trick Room could be a problem. I mean, if Trick Room does come out here, then we just swap the Star Raptor. Weak Armor does come out. What is our opponent going for? Is he expanding forcing? Is he going for the forces? I would think so. That or Trick Room, right? Expanded Force comes out here. That's going to Sash up and take out my, t my Star Raptor. So yeah, Sash up, Star Raptor gone. I don't mind that too much. I mean, he did not set up a Trick Room. I'm not too worried about that. Armor. And from here, I could go into Flutter Mean. I could go into Titar. I mean, I could Terra and just Terra Blast it. Kind of dig that. I do kind of dig that. I think that's exactly what I do. So we'll see who, exact who they want to go into. Might want to end up protecting my tusk here. We'll see. He's gonna end up going into the Drifloom. The Drifloom is gonna come out here. I think I just trash slides here, correct? I could drop a rock slide here as well. Rock slide's not too bad. Uh, this thing is going to pop the seeds and it has unburdened, so it'd be a slight, slight issue, but this just seems like the play to trash slides and terror blast, get rid of the armors, and maybe protect this turn? Yeah, I'm just gonna protect this turn. I am just going to protect the lovely little tusk. So Tarasalize come out here, he might even read this. He might end up reading this play. Because what he could actually do here is just set up a Tailwind now, because I know Drifloom learns a Tailwind and just drop another Expanded Force. But Titar can soak really well, and that's a really good protect from my opponent. Yeah, he kind of saw that coming, so really smart play. We could have dropped the Rock Slide that turn, and I think he just gets off a free Tailwind, right? I wonder what that Drifloom is doing. It's scary, man, right? Acrobatics. Acrobatic. So I'm swap into the Fluttermane. I really don't want to swap into the Fluttermane. I'd rather that thing go out. I'd rather we take out the, the Armors here. I'd rather we take out the Armors, let the Great Tusk die, and then try to get rid of the Drifting. I mean, we have a Soul Vest, which is really good. Hmm. What do I think his final Pokemon is, though? T-Tar Lycanroc? It's gotta be Baxcalibur, I feel like. It's gotta be Baxcalibur. I'm still gonna go into a Terra Blast here. And I mean, if he s swaps for some reason, I'm just gonna double down into close combat here. You go for a Disable. And you're going to Disable my Terra Blast. That's a smart, smart cookie play. That's a real good play right there. Real good play. That's a really good play. Low-key, amazing play right there. Okay. Now we have to deal with this armor right here. My Terra Blast is disabled. Which pretty much just wastes his turn. That was a really good play. 
And do I just drop a rock slide here or do I crunch into that drift loom? Wow, this is a solid battle. This is a really good battle. Our opponent's playing good. That drift loom's throwing me off. Doing some good plays here. But Fluttermane comes out on our side. Let's go, Flutter. Flutter, Flutter. Let's do it. I'm going to Protosynthesis Pop, and I think that boosts my speed, correct? My special attack, even better. Just what we wanted. And ch -ch -ch, gotta, gotta crunch a Rock Slide. I mean, Rock Slide, they're both gonna, they're both gonna do some big time damage. I'm just gonna Rock Slide, try to get some flinches. And I could protect this turn. Not a Shadow Ball. Get a Shadow Ball. I'm terrified of that. Of that, uh, <laughs> of that Drift Loom. It's definitely Rocket Shadow Ball of its own. Definitely Rocket Shadow Ball of its own. He ends up protecting. Are you kidding me? This armor is just doing me dirty. Titan, can you just rip on into this Drift Limb? Acrobatics can come out here. And that did some big time damage. Gets a crit too. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. Can you take out this Drift Limb, please? I need this Drift Limb gone. I need this Drift Limb dumped on. Get it on out of here. We need it gone. We need it gone, Titar. Can you, can you do me a favor? Thank you. Thank you. Just get rid of that. Now we gotta deal with armors. We gotta deal with armors. And I don't know who his final Pokemon is. He, just, he already disabled my flying terror, which sucks. <laughs> or my terror blast, which is just awful. And I think disable might end soon, right? I would love to get that back. So right now, Fluttermane is going to be fast Pokemon on the field. We're hoping this is Max Calvary, right? The worst Pokemon possible. The only Pokemon that outspeeds me. It's going to be you. Uh, I got to Brick Brick you. I got to Brick Brick you, and I got to... I guess I got to attack here? <laughs> I guess I got to attack. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. I don't have Protect. Rock Slide comes out here, and that's going to be GG's. The worst possible Pokemon was Lycanroc right there. The worst possible Pokemon was Lycanroc. And they end up just beating us straight up with that Armors. That Armors was doing me dirty. Great Protects on his end. We should have took out the Drift Bloom a little bit earlier, but we were so focused on the Armors, we ended up losing the battle because of that. Final match for today's video coming at you guys, and we got a tough one right here. Indeedee Armors combo alongside with Mouse Hold and Annihilate combo. Looking terrifying. They also have Fluttermane and Dragonite. Again, looking terrifying. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? Titar is really not that bad here. I kind of really dig Titar. I got to watch out for the, you know, the drain punches from the Annihilate. But this can counter the Indeedee Armors combo. So Titar alone is going to be very solid here. I am going to end up bleeding it. And most likely, I'm going to be Terrasalizing. I could go into Star Raptor. I feel like Star Raptor as a back end Pokemon could be really good for us. So Star Raptor, we're going to save you for the back end. So t is going to be our lead. I could also go into maybe Tusk and then just Terrasalize EQ across the board, which is pretty solid. I kind of, kind of really like that. So you know what? Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to bring Starter Raptor in the back end. And then last but not least, it's got to be Fluttermane, right? And of all the Pokemon, it has got to be Fluttermane. Yeah, it's got to be Fluttermane. We have to bring the main of the Floods. Got to do it. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. Let's grab ourselves a winning record and hopefully... Grab ourselves a winning record. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say there, so just throw it back out there. But yo, look at that trainer card. Sprigatito. Sprigatito with a cold one, eh? I love it. I love it. <laughs> Let's see. In okay, so it goes half and half with the combo. Mouse hold. It's probably a weak armor combo. That's totally fine. I'm cool with that. I'm going to. I might terrestrialize. Do I terrestrialize? Maybe, maybe not here. Um. I wonder what they're gonna do. We have Sash, which I really like. But I'm gonna, just gonna brick break you. I'm gonna go for Headlong Rush. That's gonna be my play. Yeah, they end the Thrash last, and it's gonna be a nice little Grass Terror. It's gonna be another Grass Terror. I feel like we've been seeing Armor so much, and they all of them had Thrash last today. So Armor Rouge back out and about. Back out and about. U turn coming in here. You're dipping. Oh. You're dipping and you are going into. Indeedy. Okay, that's a. Phenomenal combo. First and foremost. The combo's amazing. And I have. I mean, this attack won't affect us, and we can sash up here. Why do I have to go up against Indeedy armors every single game? It's so annoying, man. <laughs> and now this thing's boosted out of its mind. So I do have Focus Ash, which is just wonderful. We know Expanded Force coming out here. That's exactly why I didn't want a Terra. And now the boost on our opponent's team is absurd right now. It's absurd. So out comes the Force. 
We have Sash. That's exactly why we had to lead the Tusk here. Now Headlong Rush comes in hot here. Ripping up some really good damage. Some really good damage. Weak armor's out and about again. And he could follow me. He could definitely follow me. Do I go for a rock slide here? I think we have to go for a rock slide. With the buffets and all that, dealing damage. Rock slide's probably our best bet. We don't want to change typings. We really don't want to change typings. I'm going to go here and I might just protect you. I think I just protect this thing just to keep it another turn. I like it. Tusk's going to end up protecting. He could end up... No, he's not going to pop a chicken with the speed boost that he has for armors. He's going to wide guard. Okay, that was, a, that was a rather smart play right there. Wide guard coming in hot. Smart play from our opponent. Seki's going to also fly here. We end up protecting. And it's just a neutral turn. But Buffets are going to chip down some more damage here. Do you think he wide guards again? That's the real question. I think we just crunch into it, right? I could crunch into a DD here too. Buffets are slowly doing dirty. But I could crunch into a DD. Um, I really do want to go. Rock side's our best play, but two wide guards again. Maybe just crunch into it. Crunch. Maybe we should go for a headlong rush. That's our play. Hopefully, Y goes again. I would love to go for another rock slide, but he ends up just going for a straight protect. It's going to fail. And we go for a headlong rush. Love it. We love it. Now, I'm confused. Who, whose protect failed? And why? Can you not use Y guard then protect? Is that how it works? That's exactly how it works. Okay, cool. We take that. We take that all day. So. My boys get rid of the NDD armor combo. They have mouse hole left. If they have a physical attacker, I'm going to hard swap into the, uh, I am going to hard swap into the star Raptor just for a big time intimidate and then maybe swap it back out, but we'll see who he wants to go into. Is that mouse hold and who else? Mouse hold and who is your last? Who is your last pokies? Annihilate. Oh, is it defiant? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa there. <laughs> is it defiant? It could be defiant. I think we just brick break and we close combat. We double down on this thing. He already terrestrialized, so we're going to try to get rid of the mouse hold here. Beaten up. He's going to take out my T Tar here. Green Punch comes in here. Saw that coming from a mile away. And we soak. And we soak. And now we're taking out your mouse hold. Your poor little mouse hold's gone for. Gone for. On. No problem. Brick Break's gonna miss here. Our defense is dropped. I wonder who he goes after here because there's no need for us to swap. No need for us to swap here. Because again, this thing could be the fine. It could be the fine. But we played really good with this team today. Did not get Star Raptor out there that much, but I absolutely love Star Raptor. I think like it's very situational with the Intimidates, you know? Very situational. Hits hard though with the Life Orb, but we're chilling here. We're chilling here. We're gonna go for a nice little crunch. Go for a nice little headlong rush. I think our opponent cancels battle, correct? And this, could, this is another sweep. We had two sweeps today, video? Cause he got cancel here, right? Unless he doesn't cancel and he doesn't want to give me the sweep. I'd be a little upset, but <laughs> we'll still take the victory. Cancel battle. No, he doesn't give me the sweep. How dare you? He does not give me the sweep. You end up taking out my T-Tar. So now you, have to, now you have to take some damage from his headlong rush. Now you have to take this big time headlong rush coming at you. Send it. Bang. Big time damage. Annihilate is rather bulky here as well. My defense is in a dump, so it don't matter. We're on one HP. And Sandstorm is finally gone. I kind of want to see if this thing's defiant. I kind of do, but at the same time, it's like... Do I? <laughs> because then this thing can just start ripping, but it's pretty much over. We have we have Fluttermane. We have Star Raptor here. I'm going to go with Star Raptor, because Star Raptor can just straight up Brave Bird here. It can just do a lovely little Brave Bird action. Intimidates can come out here. Is it defiant? It is. It is. So now it's plus one. We're just stacking this thing. Don't really care for it because we're either going to land a Brave Bird or we're either going to land a Headlong Rush. And either way, you are gone. You are gone. And I just outspeed you. Star Raptor sends a nice big Brave Bird. Takes out the Nihilate to finish off today's video. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 winning record.
Great set of matches for today's video. 2-1, grab yourselves a winner maker and had some fun with this Star Raptor team. Like I said, it was my first time using it on Series 2, and you're not going to see Star Raptor a lot considering it is off meta and there are a bunch of Pokemon that can absolutely rip into it. But again, I had a lot of fun using it, and more importantly, grab yourselves that 2-1 record for you guys. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.